Hey, what's up, guys? Hey, I want to take a look at this uh, rule set for uh, plastic toy soldiers. It's called Guns and Grenades. Uh, this is version 1.5. I downloaded this from the interwebs. Um, nice table of contents. It talks about using toy soldiers such as these. And yes, I did go out and get a whole bag of these. Um, it talks about using these kind of soldiers to fight war games with. And it gives you a sequence of play that gives you some unit tags. So different units will have uh, keywords that will give them abilities or special bonuses or whatnot. Okay. And then it goes over the different unit types. And it, it, t and it gives examples. You have riflemen. Light infantry, heavy infantry, and you know it depends on the model of plastic soldier you have, and it can also depend on how many of what model you have, because unfortunately for me, there's only four different molds in this game or in, in this set here. Um, uh, so, for instance, uh, snipers. Any unit depicted as aiming down the sight are snipers. Well, that's a lot of these fellers. Well, what's a regular rifleman? Well, these are the regular riflemen. Is he aiming down the sight? Looks like to me he is. But the rest of the guys obviously aren't, but still, right? But in this set of figures I have, the guys that are aiming down sights are these guys that are crouched with a scope. And they're obviously looking through their scope. Well, then I have these guys that according to these rules for snipers, any unit depicted as aiming down the sights are snipers. Well, goddamn, if they don't look just like that guy. But my problem is these are on, I only have these kind of guys like this. Uh, I have a few of these, which is obviously a rifleman, and maybe one or two of these, which is a rifleman. But most of the, the, the bulk of the army, I guess you could say, are made up of these two figures. Well, in this case, I would probably say this figure would be the sniper because you can see the scope on his rifle. This guy, though, I just might call him a rifleman. He don't have no scope. And I don't know any rifleman or any soldier that would uh, not aim what he's shooting at. But I'm a Western soldier. I don't know about those uh, other soldiers from other countries. I think they just sp spray and pray. So anyway, it t look, machine gunners, remember these guys? We've all played with these. This guy here in particular, it's a terrible shame. They should have had a profile view of this figure because then you would notice what it is a lot easier. Um, then you have the mortar men. Then they break this down into medics. Remember these guys? There's medics. I got medics over here. Well, are they medics? Let me see if I can find one. I got such a handful of shit. And these are the cheap Mexican, uh, th this is hard, cheap plastic. These are uh, produced in Mexico. Um, man, I know I have, oh, these, no. Oh, for flip balls. Of course I can't find it now. No, here's one. No, it's not. Are you shitting me, John? No. Oh. I just had these all out. This guy. Here we go. That guy. I would consider a medic. Considering, like, his posture. Okay? And it gives rules for medics. But, well, wait a minute. He kind of looks like that guy, but faced the opposite direction. And those are scouts. 
Well, but this is the only mold I have of this type in the game. So I have to decide are they scouts or medics. Oh, then we get in the vehicles. But I want to look at these figures a little bit closer. Um, only because, like I said, there's only four molds in this. Oh, these the Grenadiers. It says, uh, these men are armed with small handheld explosives. Any unit depicted as throwing or preparing to throw a grenade are classified as grenadiers. All right, well, look at this feller. He got a grenade in his hand. He looks like he's throwing a grenade. So he, he would be classified as a gr grenadier, right? Well, maybe not because where's the scouts? I know us. Scouts. Where are the scouts? Scouts. Oh, it doesn't really give a description. Of, I thought somewhere in here it said anybody with a submachine gun. That might have been in a different rule set I had. But you could also you probably use these as scouts too because they have submachine guns. Um, so obviously I'm going to buy more of these things. Uh, but not this particular type. Um, I'll probably go to the uh, dollar store, buy a couple bags of army men. But, uh, I mean, you could differentiate some of these. Like, 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 like these will be riflemen, and these will be snipers. But then you get into uh, the, the scouts and the grenadiers. Like, which one are scouts? Which one are grenadiers? I mean... There's so many of these type that you can't have them all grenadiers or all scouts. Um, maybe put it like a, a paint dot on the base or something, but still that seems kind of, uh, well, that ain't classy. And uh, there was another one. What was the other one? Oh, the medic, or it could be. I don't have any machine gunners, which is unfortunate because I remember these guys. These these guys, anyway. Um, the grenadier and the uh, medic. I thought there was a, like a leader or something. Maybe I'm mixing rule sets up. I'm, I might be mixing rule sets up. But yeah, this guy can be used as the medic for sure. Um, all right, so getting back to the rules. Uh, then we have some vehicles. Your tanks, your trucks, and your cannons. Um, never seen this. I may have seen that when I was real, real young. I remember playing with these. Um, I remember playing with cannons. I don't remember the truck, but that doesn't mean I didn't have them because I kind of vaguely remember. If, doesn't this back pop off? If this back plastic, maybe I did have them. I didn't like them maybe because I fucking broke them. But uh, it goes over vehicle movement. Everything's in inches. And then it goes over these uh, the cover, these items you used to get with these old plastic army sets. Um, moving your units, four type, boom, building your armies. All right, this is getting towards the end of the rules here. Types of games, skirmish, point capture, ground war, uh, where you can attack. Basically, it's a facing sort of thing. Uh, it's basically a hex facing without the hex board. Um, then there's um, a couple pages I didn't staple together because I figured we'd use these as aids. Uh, unit upgrades. Uh, here it goes over terrain. Easy, rough, and dangerous. That's very basic, very simple. Quick reference chart about different units, their ranges. Their keywords, some kind of like special abilities they might have, their attack numbers and defense numbers. Going over tags again, movement. It looks like a really good game. Um, I mean, it looks like a really good game insofar as all you do is use this. I mean, my God, boys. This is really maybe three pages of rules. Maybe three pages. 
uh, and you use all these old army men that you can that you either already have, or you can go buy them from the dollar store for cheap as hell. Um, my only issue is the terrain. I I I think I might want to get some kind of play mat. Uh, that's pre-printed, uh, you know, and then I've got like a, here, I've got, anyway, your terrain is going to be your biggest problem, I think, in this game, but, uh, and you need terrain to play this. You can't just line, if you're just going to line one army up against another, you might as well play an Ancients game, uh, but a game like this, you're going to want some terrain, some objectives, some buildings, something going on that you guys can uh, maneuver around and fight over. But um, I, I was just really excited about this version because I, I love these uh, rules for these toy soldiers. Um, and I thought this was a good, really good rule set. And I plan on uh, using it. So, hey, thanks for watching, guys. Have fun.